are such an asshole. Hello, children. Hang on. Oh, work, 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 work. <clears throat> Nothing but work. I remember not having any during the financial crisis, and it sucked. Assholeconsulting.com. Questions, answers, go there. I, the world's only professional asshole, and America's older brother will put on his finest pajamas. Frankly, my only set of pajamas. These are my first set of pajamas I've ever had. I'm sure I had some like when I was a little kid, but my girlfriend got me these. Uh, hi, Cappy. Longtime viewer here. Thanks for all the help in the past. I'm interested in your advice on how to mitigate career-induced burnout. In my case, I use movies and video games as a way to decompress and enjoy life a bit. I feel guilty because I should be securing real financial freedom first, right? <clears throat> my strategy thus far <clears throat> has been to stack up cash and stocks while I figure shit out. I'm saving and investing 85% of my income and have no debt, but also no alternative sources of income. My job pays well, but is demanding, so I feel like I need some fun in order to escape and got and not go inside. Dude, and not to mention in a Corona Chan world, a year of the of the Wuhan flu, a year of like a really bad flu that we just all had. Yeah, um, I've tried to remind myself of that, that, hey, it's all right if you don't perform 100% or have yourself a little bit of a vice. Eat yourself some McDonald's. Um, so don't, don't forget that. I think a lot of people are forgetting to account for that in their, their calculations. In an average week, I'll spend 20 to 35 hours watching movies, YouTube videos, or playing video games. All right, that's excessive. That's almost a full-time job. Uh, the gym is something I make time for since I agree with your philosophy on it being necessary, but in general, it is so boring that I don't believe more gym would give me the fun escapism that movies and video games do. Um, I'll tell you this about the gym. I look at the gym as work. Um, that is a, that is a job. I hate the gym. I hate lifting weights. I love hiking, dude. I could hike and, and cardio till the day. And I probably will one of these, but I hate the gym lifting heavy metal objects. And I know some of you are gym rats and, and, and you, you got bit by the, by the bug and you love it. Uh, I, I envy you guys. I envy you. Uh, but I would almost consider the gym part of your work week because, Frankly, no guy wants to really do it, uh, except for uh, the rare few out there. Uh, but in general, so boring. Da, 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 da. I do try and play and watch just the top shelf stuff rather than mindlessly playing Call of Duty or something generic. It's still a waste, though, so I've been considering quitting movies and video games cold turkey until I have a side business that covers my living expenses. I'd have to build it on the side without giving my current jobs. My current job is driving my net worth up every year, and I want to continue that. Yeah, don't, don't give it your daytime job, no. My fear is that if I start spending this time on more work, it will start compromising my ability to perform my job. I don't know if you're pissing away 20 to 35 hours, uh, 25 to 35 hours a week on video games. I think you have enough time. And let's be, let's be also be clear. It doesn't take anywhere near the mental effort or investment to play video games or watch movies. So, but 20 to 35 hours of relaxation, you should be able to pull out 10 hours a week of hard work or tedious work is really was boring work <clears throat> uh, that would help you start a business. So I'm, I'm, I'm honest. I know it's like, oh yeah, like if I, I could watch videos in video games for like, you know, eight hours a day. Sure. Why the hell not? It's not the same as, oh, I got to do my taxes. I have to do my receipts and all that other boring stuff. Um, but you should be able to find 10 hours a week without it having an effect on your job and still have plenty of time for some relaxation and uh, unplugging. Uh, my job pays well. I worked hard to get there, so I'd like to avoid running, ruining things because becoming so burned out that I can't do the job well anymore. Do you have any tips or tricks on how to spend less time reducing stress and burnout? How to spend less time? You mean you, you want less stress and, and less burnout? All right. Well, <clears throat> you're going to the gym. That's good. Uh, cardio is very good. Like just walking. I'm not talking running. Okay. Uh, and just to give you an idea, like in the Twin Cities, I run all the time because there's no mountains and it's a chore and I hate running. When I'm out west, I hike. 
and I don't worry about, oh, am I running? No, I'm hiking. So I've given up like the run, like I'll run just to stay. It's, it's purely functional. It's purely a job. But then when I go out West, <clears throat> I hike even here, I'll still go for a walk. I will, will take a nice long walk and, uh, you know, just, this is some podcasts. Um, and it's more meditative. And, uh, I think that's what you should do is you should swap out at least 10 hours. You got 30 hours Let's say 30 hours a week. All right. 10 hours should be invested in some kind of company or some kind of side business. And until you have a good one, there's nothing wrong with you just being a good employee, making good money at a good job. There's nothing wrong with the position you got now, all right? And certainly don't risk that for something, some dude bro business idea you've only half that uh, half asked thought out. But then with the extra, uh, another 10 hours that I would do, I, I just go for like walks. Just go walking, man. Start listening to podcasts. Start just, just tune into whatever it is you want to tune into and just go walk. Um. Otherwise, reducing stress and burnout. Um, diet, get some good sleep. I mean, this is boring stuff. Make sure you get some good sleep. You got melatonin pills. You take melatonin pills, help you with your sleep. Make sure you get good sleep. Um, don't drink. That's going to increase your stress. Um, yeah, but you got to, <clears throat> you, you need to take the time you play. Video. I'm not saying give up video games, go play them, but you're playing video games for like 10 hours, watch a movie for 10 hours. Then you're hiking and walking for another 10. And then you're working on your, your uh, profession, your career. <clears throat> no, just give your mind something else to focus on. Um, Do I just need to shut up and do the work? Well, yes and no. You you have a, an inordinate amount of time you're wasting watching movies and videos. So you will find the extra time to do the work. Um, I just don't know what... Do you have a good business idea? Because otherwise, frankly, your time is better spent just playing video games. If you don't know what your business idea is, you, you, it's not good or well thought out, well, you might as well go play video games. Because your business idea could probably stress you out a lot more. So I, I don't think it's just shut up and do the work. You seem to be doing the work just regularly fine at your regular job. But yeah, maybe you get a schedule and you uh, play video games less and uh, dedicate that focus to your job. What are your thoughts on work-life balance? Eh, it's a moving target. Um, I probably have a very unconventional viewpoint of uh, work-life balance. I like to get everything done so I can relax. Um, that frustrates the GF and other people in my life where it's, they're like, you don't have to do it all today. It's like, yes, I actually do. Cause then it will be done. And then you'll be like, why'd you take two months off? I wish I could drive to Alaska. It's like, well, so I like, you know, work as hard as you want. Like if you still feel compelled to work, work, that's just your body naturally telling you to work. You're not going to like, you know, I took four days off. I don't want to do asshole consulting. I'm really I'm just like, oh, yeah, I do it. But I heated myself. I listened to myself. I, oh, okay, all right. My body says I don't want to work. All right, we're not going to work. Or perhaps I can just keep doing what I'm doing, dominating at work for another five to seven years before retiring in my mid-30s and then going on this journey and building my own source of income. <clears throat> you could do that. Nothing wrong with that. That's certainly fine. You'll be way ahead of your peers. But you have a lot of extra time you're pissing away on video games and movies. So you could start experimenting with your business idea. It's going to take some time to figure out what your business is. Fine tune it, make it profitable. It's good. That's going to take time. So I would, I would dedicate a little bit to that. Uh, I appreciate any advice. Thanks. Happy to pay extra for video. Blah, blah, blah. Dan. Well, there you go, Dan. You make six figures. Yeah, dude, you're, I, we could debate, I don't want to go into his finances, but his finances are very good. But dude, if you just keep working at the, the company you're at and it doesn't go away, you're going to have FU money pretty soon. Um, You have a very nice cash position right now. Um, You, you may not have to have a business. You may not. You may just have it because you're, you're a minimalist. You live on 20,000 a year expenses. <clears throat> you have 14 years worth of that saved up. I mean, think about that 14. You'd be in your 50s, 
late forties. Um, so don't, don't think you have to be everything to everyone. Like some people just get lucky. Some people work hard. Some people look, you got a good job. It pays you a lot of money. Just keep, keep riding this cow until, you know, Hey, well, I know you might want to start a business, but this company pays you a nice handsome salary and you don't have a lot of expenses. So just keep on going, going on. You'll be all right. David, 128 for two bucks. Do you still walk outside when it's cold as F? No, I go on the treadmill. Um, I go to the gym. Uh, we've had a very nice, mild weather, uh, winter this year. So <clears throat> I have gone walking outside. Uh, but now it's like in the 20s and the teens. It's like, mm -mm, nope, mm -mm, nope. So I'll go walk on the, uh, on the treadmill. I'm going to go for a walk later today. I'm tired. I, I know you guys can see it because I'm old and getting old. I might take like two months off and go to like a retreat. Not rehab, a retreat, like just where there's nothing. I know a place over in Wyoming where it just overlooks the mountains and there's just nothing out there. And you just sit. Just it's an Airbnb. And I just sit there and do nothing recover for a month and a half all right that's it questions answers asshole consulting.com i'll see you guys later toodles